Dear Melissa, I'm currently pursuing a master's and have over four years of experience as a software engineer. I'm trying to get an internship in product manager roles. I want to know what qualities and skills recruiters are expecting from a candidate like me so that I can start working towards that direction. This will help me build my portfolio and resume. Thanks for your help. So when you're trying to get an internship, which is usually your first job as a product manager, you're probably not going to have all the hard skills a product manager needs. And that's okay, because I would not expect somebody in an internship position to know how to write amazing user stories or do UX or anything like that. That's what that internship is for. So let's really focus on what are the qualities that you need to show through your coursework and previous work that would signal to me that you are a great person as a product manager. You will make a great product manager. First of all, having a technical background while not required as a product manager is going to help you. So you already have a leg up right there as a former software engineer because you understand how products get built and recruiters are gonna really like this. So definitely highlight your engineering experience and talk about what you did through engineering. If you ever had a chance to contribute to the product process as well, or go with product managers and do discovery, things like that, you wanna highlight those things. Definitely talk about it. Talk about the products you built and what they did for customers. A great way, even if you've never been a product manager before, but to highlight some things that come off product managery, which is not a word, but let's call it a word, on your resume is really trying to use the same terminology and language we do. So if you can talk about the way that you built products or products you built before and what they did for customers, what the business outcomes were and highlight what problems they solved, that language is already gonna come through to recruiters and it's gonna signal to them that you have the right mindset for a product manager. So a lot of times, even if you didn't leave the product or you weren't the product manager, we can still formulate what we did on our resumes in a way that will signal to somebody that we have those good problem solving skills that would make a great product manager in the future. Besides that, there's a couple skills that I look for when I'm hiring interns and we can break those down and figure out how do you show that through previous projects as well. So first of all, I'm looking for an analytical problem solver. Can you pull insights from data, qualitative and quantitative and make decisions off of that? What trends do you pick up on? Can I uh, throw a bunch of information at you and you can synthesize it and determine a direction forward? That's very important. Also, do you dive deeper into the problems that are surfacing from the data? So if you see an insight, are you curious? Are you asking why? Curiosity is a really big part of being a product manager. I want to see somebody who's going to look at that data, follow up on those trends, try to figure out what's happening, uncover those problems underneath. So that's a really good signal that you're in the right mindset to be a product manager because we're always tracking down what are the problems we can solve? Why do they exist? How can I make it better? So you wanna be relentlessly driven to make things better and to solve problems for customers and worrying about the user. So that's the number two. Do you think about the people that you're building things for? So whether you are solving processes or volunteering or doing projects with coworkers or anything like that, are you thinking about the person who's gonna use that product or be the consumer of that process or whatever help you're, you're doing? at the end of the day. I wanna see that you're thinking about not just how you want to build it, but you're considering the other people who are gonna to want to build it. So can you demonstrate that through past projects? Another one is really a collaborative leader. So how do you work with teams? What kind of projects have you done with them before? Product managers cannot accomplish things on their own. We don't usually build the code. We don't usually do the UX. Uh, we need other people to help us, right? So how do you work with teams? Can you inspire a team to get things done? Do you give good direction? Do you work collaboratively with others? Can you bring a whole group of people together, listen to their ideas, synthesize those ideas, and make them feel like they're a part of something? How do you treat stakeholders who might not be on your team but are giving you feedback? How do you listen to feedback? I think all of those things are really important. As a product manager, you need to be really collaborative, not just with your team, but with your customers, and with the stakeholders. You have to listen to feedback. You have to digest it. You have to make sure that you understand that it's not personal. <laughs> it's not personal feedback. I wanna see how you're reacting to that. Are you taking it into account? And then you are you looking at why it was given and determining a path forward. So that's really looking at somebody who can inspire a team, take all those pieces, put it together, listen to others, and then decide to act. That's really what I'm looking for in those positions because Every single day as a product manager, you will never be working alone. 
you do not go off as a lone wolf and sit in the corner and build things. You have to be good with people. So that's, that's a big uh, skill. Next one is communicating. So another people skill here. Can you take complex ideas or solutions and distill them down into easy to understand communication tactics, whether they're presentations or written, um, you know, written things, anything about how you're talking to others about why you're doing stuff? Is it concise? Does it recognize what the context is for that other person? So for example, if they're not technical, are you just throwing technical terms at them? Or are you actually saying, hey, this person doesn't have that type of knowledge. How do I explain this in a better way so that they get, get it? I'm really looking for good communication techniques because you're going to have to do that to everybody around you on your teams, to stakeholders, and to leaders. So if you can refine your communication techniques and distill very complex ideas down to easy under, to understand digestible bits of information, that's a really good sign. You also need to have high EQ, emotional intelligence in this area. You have to really be able to read the room, understand where people are coming from. This goes hand in hand with getting feedback, but you have to really understand the lay of the land, the people you're talking to, and you want to show that you can communicate with leaders or you can communicate with marketing or you can communicate with sales or various people that might not have the same context or points of view as you. So those are just some of the skills that I'm really looking for when I am trying to hire somebody that's gonna make a great product manager, you have to work with people every day. So all these are people skills, right? They're, they're about trying to get people on your team and that's okay. You don't need the hard skills when you get into an internship with a product manager. I don't expect everybody to come in and know exactly what a product manager does. That's the job for the internship to really suss out for you. Do I like this? Do I not? And I've seen a lot of people go into product manager internships and say, hey, hey I hate this. <laughs> You're going to learn all those things there. So focus on the attributes um, that come up through your other projects that are going to make you great at learning those skills, adapting to new environments, and being able to be a successful product manager when it comes to working with people.